Hi everyone, my name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a eye look using Dominique Cosmetics Celeste Steel Storm. This is not the first look that I've done with this palette. I will link the first one up above for you. So my makeup is all done. We're kind of in a rush because we're going to that new outlet mall that is by the Edmonton International Airport. It's about 45 minutes away from here and we're going to pick up our son from early dismissal and head straight there. So it's going to be interesting because we don't really know what to expect and kind of exciting at the same time. So we're going to get started. I'm doing a rust colored look. I was going to do color, but I really am still wanting those like fall looks. And the colors that strike me immediately are these three right here. So without using any other color in any other palette, I'm going to attempt to make a look using those three colors. And we might throw Solstice or Eternal Light in as well. Here's Solstice, that's Eternal Light. So we're going to get started and without further ado. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to have this fluffy E35 on hand, but I am going to start with an E25. So the E25 will just let me place the product um, a little bit more precisely and then I can blend with the E35 after. So we're going to go in with Lunar Eclipse because it is the lighter of the two, this one here. And I don't know how dark this is going to be, so we're going to tap off the brush. And I'm going to start in the crease. So this is something that we've planned for probably like the last, I'd have to say the last two weeks or so. And it's something that we wanted to do when Chad was off work because obviously I don't really want to go take two kids to that mall all by myself. It's not really something that I enjoy. Number one, I hate driving on the QE2, which is the Queen Elizabeth II Highway. Um, basically, it is the highway to Calgary. And I hate it. It's so busy, especially before you get to um, Leduc. It's just ridiculous. So we didn't really want to go on the weekend either because, of course, it's going to be even busier then. So we thought early dismissal would be perfect timing because no one's out of work yet. And we're hoping by the time we leave that rush hour will be done with. So we'll see how it goes. And I will tell you guys our experience when I do my makeup again, or maybe the plan with me. Cause yeah, I have a plan with me tomorrow. So today is Thursday. So tomorrow I will, uh, kind of speak on our experience but I mean for the most part today is a short makeup tutorial because I've already done my makeup beforehand but I was pretty productive today so I still got up early Chad took Connor to school today which was actually a nice change and I stayed home looked after my daughter and I got like four videos um, I did get two done last night before I went to bed about 10 o'clock, so it was really, really late. And then this morning I got three or four videos filmed. So I've been pretty productive in the video filming department, but now I just have to do a couple of voiceovers and I need to do a whole bunch of editing basically. Okay, so before I go any further with the upper lid, I'm gonna take that same color I am going to use an E27 now, so it's the smaller detailed blending brush, and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. I know I was talking the other day about fall looks and how I really wanted to get into some dark colors, and I have. I think I've used dark forest green with some navy blue already. Um, I wouldn't mind doing like a plum fall look. So I'll probably do that one. I could always use Jeffree Star's Bloodlust palette for that. Um, there is one palette that I think, I can't remember if I wanted to buy it or what happened there. It was Dominique Cosmetics, the berry colored one. I wanted to get that palette and I was thinking about getting it again because it is so pretty. And I like like the, not the royal purple looks for fall so much, but the more like plum shades. So I think I've got a few colors hiding in a few of my palettes. So we might play with some different looks there. Okay, so for the most part, I've got my eye kind of rimmed in the color that I want it rimmed in. So I'm going to take a flatter brush now. 
Let's see if I can find it. This is the E54 medium sweeper. We're going to put a little bit of Mac Fix Plus on it. And I'm going to go in right with Fireball right now. You heard me. We're going to put it on the lid to start. Okay, it's more of a pink tone shade. More pink than the uh, the two shades that I'm using. But it was more red. But I'm putting this on first and I really want to let it dry down because I want to darken up the outer portion of the eye with the storm dust. Okay, so we're just going to let that dry quick. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to take my Mary Lou by the Balm and just quickly put some of this on the inner corner of my eye. I will take my Teensy Weensy E21 smudge brush here and just pop that on the inner corner. I think the school across the street is just being wide out. So it's going to get a little noisy in here. Okay, and not really too much under the brow. Okay, I might just dust a little bit of the same color right underneath the lash line on the interior part, but the exterior I'm going to leave. So now we're going to go back to our original E25. I'm going to go into Storm Dust now. And we're going to put this on first by itself, but I have a feeling that to darken things up, I'm going to need to go into Zero Gravity, which is almost like a purpley brown color. And we're just going to darken the outer corner up a bit. So I'm mixing storm dust and zero gravity, tapping off the brush as I go. And I'm just patting this color in to make sure that I'm not laying it on too heavy and then I can blend it out after. Okay, and I'm going to take my clean E35 now and just blend this whole area because I think I've got it really dark. And I guess it's kind of the color I was going for, but this is honestly more of like a going out to karaoke look, I think. And I actually think I'm happy with the way this looks. So I'm just going to wipe out away the fallout that developed here. I'm going to quickly align my upper lash line with Too Faced Better Than Sex Black Liquid Liner here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, pop on some mascara and possibly lashes, but I'll let you know at the end because I'm not sure yet. We'll be right back. Okay, after putting on that mascara, I think that looks pretty darn good. I don't think I need lashes on top of that, so I'm going to leave it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very quick kind of fall red rust colored look. Um, I definitely thought it would be more rust colored, but that sparkly color, it was fireball. It was definitely more pink. So that's here. This is more pink to me, but I think that's more fuchsia, whereas this is more like rose gold pink. Um, but I like it. I think it's a really nice, pretty color and it kind of looks monochromatic, but it isn't. I did use like four different colors in my, my eyes. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. If you're new here, I'd love if you subscribed, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And last but not least, make sure to click the little bell notification so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.